10 to 9. Now, a Cambridge maths graduate will fulfil her career dream next week by becoming the first British woman to take part in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Rosie Sexton has been practising martial arts since the age of 14, will make her debut in front of 15,000 fans in Winnipeg, and she joins us now. Hi, Rosie. Hi there. How, are you how, did, this, how did this happen? You've been doing different martial arts. What, what is your speciality in martial arts terms? Well, to compete in mixed martial arts these days, you have to be able to do a bit of everything. Um, it's not like the old days where you could get away with being really good at one thing. Um, nowadays, you have to train in all the different arts. You have to be able to strike, to grapple, anything like that. So um, I've been competing in mixed martial arts since 2002, you know, just over 10 years now. Uh, but it was only this year that the UFC finally added a women's division. Because mm. the, the UFC, for people who don't know, it's, it's like the Premier League of, of, of that's mi it, mixed yeah. martial arts, isn't it? It's, it's the biggest mixed martial arts organisation in the world. Mm. And it, it, that's the place to be if you're, if you're a mixed martial artist. And they've only just introduced it for women. I mean, why has it taken up till now? Or is it a response to the fact that boxing is, is admitting women as well? I think it was just the, the time was right. You know, I think it's been something that obviously those of us who've been involved in women's mixed martial arts have been pushing for for some time. Uh, but due to a combination of factors, I mean, one, because I think they were concerned that previously there may not have been the depth of talent there to support a, a division at that level. Um, and also, I think they were maybe a little bit concerned about how it was going to go down with fans and how people would, would react to, to women's fights. Because um, there has to be a, sa a safety aspect to it, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, I did, we did a big UFC programme, mixed martial arts programme, a, a few months ago on Five Live, and I was taken to task for two things. One, calling it cage fighting. <laughs> even, even though it takes place, obviously, in the, yes, inside this protected yes. arena, it was pointed out that if you didn't have that, then you'd just fall out into the crowd. Crowd, exactly, yes. um, because you because you have the, the ground techniques as well, and also Absolutely. talking about no holds barred, mm -hmm. mm. and saying no, there are very very strict rules yes. as to what you can and can't yes. do in in mixed martial arts. Yes, I think the no holds barred term goes back to the bad old days when I think everything was much less regulated, and it was all seen as a little bit of a spectacle. But nowadays, I mean, the, the difference between what you see nowadays and what was going on then is, is like night and day, you know. I think nowadays it is, there are very strict regulations. Um, there's lots of things in place for fighter safety. You know, you've got trained referees, judges, doctors on hand. You know, everything's taken care of so that it, it is um, a relatively safe sport. You know, and, I mean, and you've got to be fighting somebody who is of a similar standard to absolutely, you, Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. You know, you, you've got to remember that these are two trained athletes in there who've You've trained to, to compete in the sport, you know, and basically as, as long as people are matched by, you know, by size, by weight, by gender and by skill level, generally speaking, you know, the, the, it's, it's a very safe sport or relatively safe sport. What, what you don't know, Ellie, and that maybe Rosie may not know this as well, I hope you remember, we've got history. Do you remember that? I think so, yes. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I took you on on television. That's few, right. Yes, a few oh, years ago. Your yes. Yeah. Yes. What, modesty, how did you get Modesty on? prevents me from giving the result. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's laughing. She, she can't even remember it. She I knows she, she won. I thrashed you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do remember, yes. Yes, I, essentially I ran away. <laughs> did you? Uh, but, it, but, uh, but about UFC, you know, you, <laughs> you've got to be a, a particular mindset, haven't you? You've got to have... You've got to have it, You've got to have aggression and it's got to be inbuilt because I turned up and essentially if someone runs at me, I do want to run away. It's only a certain kind of person who can get in that ring. I think it does take a certain mentality to, to get involved in the sport and to, to stay involved in the sport. Having said that, I think a lot, uh, of, it, a lot of it comes down to training. You yeah. know, I think it's, it's through the process of training. I mean, if you... If you do you feel when, fear? Yeah. Before, yeah. before every fight? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's about how you use that. It's not about making that fear go away it's about realizing that that's something that your body's doing to help you it's the adrenaline and the, to being able to use that in order to produce a better performance what are you thinking when you when you're astride another another female and bashing her around the head what 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 drives you just just you want victory you want to be number one yeah i mean for me it's it, it, it's a very technically complex sport you know i think when i'm in there i I'm, I'm generally i'm not i'm not thinking about you know, doing damage to somebody else or anything like that. I'm thinking through technical details. It's like, right, in this position, I need to be doing this, that and the other. You know, I need to be doing A, B and C. And then the position changes you somewhere else. It's like, right, that's what I need to be doing. So it, you're thinking through the details of the sport. It's not a question of just getting in there and you know, letting it all loose or anything like that.
And you're an osteopath, aren't you? Yes. In in in, re in real life, in inverted commas. So so do you? Oh. Can you treat your own injuries? I can't, unfortunately. That's one of the most frustrating but things. Can um, you name the bones that you're breaking? Yeah, I can. I can do that. I can do that. So um, so, so 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 if I if yeah. I get you in this hold here to your opponent, mm -hmm. this will dislocate this 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 and this. I can explain so exactly. I would, I would give up now. Yeah, I can explain exactly in anatomical detail what's going on. Uh, well, you um, you understand. Not all that helps. You understand my position of having no backbone whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Rosie, very best of luck in Canada. Lovely to talk to you. Thanks for coming in to see us as well. That's great. It's been great to speak to you. Yeah, good luck. Thank